What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with another episode of Motorsport Manager. And if you watched the last episode, uh, we left it off with a very important sponsorship offer decision. Now, do we go for a fourth place or above finish? Which we probably won't get, even though Falco has been driving much better. Uh, we can go with Condor Telecoms, which, can, which is going to give us a million dollars up front. And a huge bonus of $800,000 per race, if we managed to finish fourth or above. Or we could go with uh, Ambrosia, which is only asking us to finish sixth, which is still, you know, it's, it's proven to be out of our reach a little bit, sixth place. But it's going to give us $300,000 up front, $700,000 per race, and it's only going to last three races. So we'll actually be able to replace that um, before the end of the year, which, you know what? The more I think about it, Ambrosia is definitely the way to go. We'll get $300,000 there. And we'll get the seven. You know, I think we're going to continue to try to finish in sixth. Um, I'm just a greedy person, I guess. And I'm no longer uh, wanting to finish uh, 12th or better for that $200,000. So we're going to stick with that. Uh, reliability work is complete. So that's beautiful. Let's go over here. Check this out. Uh, it is not complete. Not yet, at least. We're at 97, 84, 76, and 80% there. I would definitely want to get those up before the next race, which is in 19 days. And that will. Every one of those parts will be at 100% one day before the race. So that's going to be nice. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's go ahead and continue there. We're going to go. Oh, the test track just got finished too. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So our factory is up there. Performance-wise, we are right about average sixth place. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Well, I don't think we can afford to build anything else. I think we're going to have to wait until next season to get that cash uh, for us to be able to uh, to buy something else here for our um, for our headquarters as we can see here we have the test track level one of three so that allows us to build these great engines here um, let's see if we were to build an engine now we wouldn't even really be able to build a great engine we do the top here and we'd have to do with uh, both of these um, which both carry a risk level Top speed plus 30, red zone minus 10, plus a uh, top 35 top speed, which let's see, so we are at 116 and 150, this would put us at 151 and 185, this one would put us at 146, so this is definitely the way to go here, although that does carry a risk level, so I really don't want to get that part suspended, although we could, we could go ahead and build this. And then even if it does get suspended, we'll be able to at least be able to create a great engine um, on wet tires and inters, top speed plus 50 on wet and inters. That's that's good, but uh, that is only really going to help us out on maybe two or three races a year. I'd much rather go with something like this um, once we get there. I think we do. You know, I think we do. You know what? Hold on one second. I'm going to check this out real quick. Top speed is still one of our better, you know, the engines are still one of our better parts right now. The suspension and the gearbox are both slacking um, compared to the uh, the gearbox or the brakes as well as the engine. Uh, let's see. So the suspension and what was the suspension and the... The suspension and the gearbox are what needs improving. Um, the gearbox, there's definitely a lot of room for improvement, at least with this one. And then the suspension, there's also a lot of room for improvement with these good suspensions over here. Uh, you know what I'm thinking about doing? Let's just go ahead and improve on Falco's parts. So we're going to, let's take all this out, and we're going to start from scratch. All right, so Falco has the uh, the good engine here. We can definitely improve the performance there. Um, Falco has the engine over here that's already at 100%, so let's worry about maxing that out. Um, we can go ahead and do the good gearbox here. We'll put that into performance. It's already maxed out on the reliability. And then he's got this good suspension. So we're going to work on those. And then let's go ahead and also improve on the reliability of that suspension. Uh, again, we don't need to improve the reliability there, there, or there. So that's something we could help uh, Faith out. Um, let's do the reliability for the suspension here. 
we'll do the reliability for this gearbox which is going to be done very very soon and then we'll also do a reliability for the front wing and then that way um, that front wing will be a little bit better for Falco and we're definitely going to lean more towards we're going to lean more towards improving uh, these parts and just because we want Falco to be running the best uh, possible vehicle that we can uh, that's all going to be done 21 days after the race we've got 18 days until the actual race which um, you know what, so these parts are going to be damn near maxed out, which is going to be excellent. I, I expect Falco to finish very, very well. Now let's see this. Uh, top speed is going to be crucial, medium speed corners, and high speed corners as well. All those are going to be crucial. Practice looks like it's going to be raining. Race day, it looks like it's just going to be cloudy, no rain. But uh, we're still 18 days away, so I'm not, uh, I'm not taking that to heart. I fully expect that to change here in the next 18 days. All right, World Motorsport Championships, we don't care about. Let's go ahead and continue simulating there. We have a uh, politics vote, which I really hope fails. I think I'm definitely going to put in all of our votes into not having spec engines. Uh, let's go to it. Engines cannot be developed in-house. All teams use a standard V8 engine of performance level 150. This lowers the annual cost of car development substantially. This rule will benefit Eastwood, Silva, Archer. This rule will not benefit traditional teams like Kruger, Firebird, Vexella, and No Slack Racing. I am going to use all three of my votes to vote against using the stock engine, the 150 engine. So we've got three there. Vladimir voted for it. Maria did the smart thing and voted against it, as well as Hugo and Harvey. Looks like it's going to be a convincing win for us here. Martino, only one vote for. Carmen, also only one vote. Curtly, Abstain, and Vincent voted against. So we easily won 8-4. to four. My three votes made it from 8-4 to four to... Uh, it would have been 6-4 to four, uh, but because I added the two extra votes. It was 8-4. to four. So either way, we would have won. But um, I was definitely against using the stock engine of 150. Just because... Let's check this out real quick. Improved parts. Our engines right now are at 139 and 108. So it would have benefited us probably in the early part of next season. But towards the end of the next season, it would have hurt us because uh, the one engine, the average engine, is going to be at 150 already. And then we're definitely going to build a new engine. So that 108 engine is going to go bye-bye. And the new engine is going to be better than 150. So yeah, that rule would have definitely hurt us. Not only uh, next season, but for, for the future, it would have definitely hurt us big time. So I'm very glad that that failed. And we can uh, focus on just improving that engine like we did, especially because we built a test track. If we hadn't have built a test track, maybe, maybe, slight chance that I might have actually gone for it. But, um, okay, hold on, what was that? Test track here. I love the test track. But with a few upgrades, we'd be able to invest more into our engine designs. Dude, you just got the freaking test track and you already want more upgrades? Just be happy that I built you the freaking test track, dude. Come on. Don't get, don't go, don't go crazy on me. All right, real quick. We're going to travel to the race here very soon. I want to make sure these parts are all looking decent right here. 98% on this gearbox. Um... So let's see where you're at. 166 here, 193. Okay, you know what? I was hoping this would be a little bit better. 21 days after race. But um, the race is almost here. Right? Yeah, travel to Guildford 21 days after the race. That was with like 18 days remaining. Anyways, all right. So I think we're going to go with Ambrosia here. Sixth or above, 700,000 bucks. Same objective, but we're going to get uh, $50,000 more than with the last sponsor, even though I don't think we got it. I think we maybe got it once. But uh, yeah, $700,000 would be absolutely awesome just because we are losing uh, $1.2 per race. Let's check out the part fitting, make sure that everything is uh, tip-top the way it should be. Falco does have the better uh, brakes with 100% reliability. She's got the next best ones. So our brakes are solid right now. We're both good there. Engine, Falco's got the better one. She's got the next best. Also both at 100% reliability. We'll give Falco the front wing that has a slight better reliability. He's got the better gearbox. She's got the next best. Almost both at 100%. Um, rear wing here, they're both the same. Don't need to worry about that. Suspension, Falco's got the best. She's got the next best. 
Uh, reliability could be improved there, but I was focusing more on the performance, um, which I'm not unhappy about. That uh, I'm glad I stuck with that plan. Performance is definitely going to be the top priority here uh, to finish out the season. We want to get these parts as high as we can uh, while they get transferred over to season three, which is going to be in about three or four short episodes. So here we are, England, Guildford Grand Prix. Now, it did say that it was supposed to rain during the practice session and that it was supposed to be clear during race day, but that was 18 days before the race. So things have probably changed since then. Let's check and see exactly how these conditions are going to change. It is going to continue to race. Okay. So uh, they forecasted that correctly. I love the way they do, do the rain on like the camera lens right there. That's really nice. All right. So we're using our two main drivers. Let's go ahead and change their setups real quick. Shouldn't be too hard. Mm. There we go. Maybe move this a little bit more. Yep, right there. Good, tired choice. All right, so it is going to be raining. Uh, there is going to be water on the track. Let's go ahead and stick with the intermediate tires there. We'll change Falco's setup. Ooh, we could go right in the middle. Okay, let's see. This is going to be a little bit trickier, I think. We'll do something like that. Tire choice. We'll stick with the inters. And take practice. Uh, send out. Bam, bam, bam. Send out faith. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, we're going to bring them right back in just to see what their setup looks like. Now, I think in the last practice session for the last race, Falco finished 4th with the 4th best practice time, and Faith had 10th best practice time, which isn't bad. Um, let's go ahead. Since it's their first lap and they're only doing the one lap, I'm not going to worry about the strategy all that much. But uh, once we do get them tuned pretty well, I am going to want to adjust that. All right, let's see. Falco here is at probably in the 50s. Okay, 62%. Very poor on the downforce, so that's something we're going to want to adjust pretty uh, pretty heavily. Uh, handling was good. Balance also was good. Um, you know what? I think, let's see here. Let's not do too crazy of an adjustment. Let's just stick with something like that. The downforce is definitely going to improve on, just because it can't get any worse than it already is. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, let's go ahead and change Faith's here, which she has one great, which is nice to see. 75%. Uh, so she likes her downforce. Let's tweak that just a little bit then. Try to get that into amazing. Handling definitely needs to change, as well as the speed balance. They both need to change pretty uh, pretty heavily. So we'll do something like that. Downforce is going to stay there. Send both of these guys out. And now I think we're going to start putting them on the attack and overtake strategy. Um, they'll do, uh, you know what, they'll do one lap each. Let's bring them in. And then after this setup, I think we're going to go towards um, trying to keep them out there for as long as possible. If, you know, hopefully they'll be in the 90s after this tune-up. Alright, coming in, let's see what, uh, what are we looking like. One excellent, one great, and then I think an okay. 88%. So we're on excellent with the speed balance, great with the handling. Um, so we can actually move the handling just slightly over. Um, let's do, let's see, so we started off on understeer, right? Yep. So hopefully the handling is going to improve there. Speed balance is still excellent. We're going to try to bring that back to where it was. There we go. Uh, downforce needs improvement though. It went from very poor to okay. Um, let's go ahead and shift that further. We'll do something like that. Handling again is right around where we want it there. And then the speed balance we kind of have to bring back. Um, so let's do something like that and then we'll adjust this ever so slightly and I think we'll be good. The handling though, that's a little too much I think. Um, well, let's bring the handling back a little bit. Speed balance. There we go. Let's try that out. Let's see where that gets us. Um, okay, nice. Excellent, excellent, and great for Faith Anthony. Beautiful, beautiful. We're at 96%. 
So we don't want to really touch downforce or handling. The speed balance we could move ever so slightly. Um, let's see here. How do we get that? How do we get that adjusted without messing with the handling? Okay, we'll do that. And oh, those two didn't really move at all. I think I want to do something like. Okay, you know what? Let's give that a shot. And then I think we're going to keep these guys out for the remainder of the practice session. So we'll do uh, attack and oversteer there for Faith. Falco's still getting worked on. And then we'll do the uh, attack and overtake there as well. And I think we're going to just keep, we'll keep these guys out there for the remainder of the race. There's uh, seven minutes left. Hmm. You know what? They're not going to finish the practice session. Um, they'll probably both come in before. So you know what? Let's do... Let's check out, we'll, we'll do one more tuning for both of them, and then we'll leave them out for the rest of the practice session. Just because, um, they wouldn't have finished anyways. Okay, beautiful, look at that. Three excellence for Faith, that's absolutely amazing. So we should be at 99%, 98%. I'm going to leave that the way it is, I'm not going to touch it. Um, stints. Um, let's see, okay, we'll go to stints. We will tell her to just do the, uh, the six laps. Actually, we'll tell her to do four. And then the tire choice, uh, it's going to actually stop raining, water on the track is going bye-bye, so we're going to stick with the softs, we'll do with that, getting a little bit more knowledge there. And then, I'm so glad I brought these guys in. Falco, let's go ahead and do the same thing for you. Good, good, excellent. Okay, so that could get better. I'm glad I brought you in. Um, let's see, we were at okay, great, excellent. So the handling actually went down. So the handling we want to bring back to where it was, like right around there. Handling is going to want to go a little bit more. We'll do something like that. Handling should be good there. The, ba the speed balance we want to bring back, though. Um, let's do something like that. That's only going to be great. I want the handling to go further to the left. Something like that. And the speed balance, there we go. Is that... I didn't really move. Damn it, come on handling like that this is a very 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 tricky uh, you know process here okay I like where handling is I think that's gonna be either great or excellent speed balance though to keep it on excellent we're gonna have to move that probably like that okay well, so I think we're good we're good there uh, very poor okay good very poor okay good downforce is gonna need to get moved to like right there which uh, obviously that messed up handling and speed balance again right all right um, speed balance speed balance should be excellent handling sh okay that's perfect I think we're gonna be fine there we're gonna go ahead and do four laps and tire choice I think yeah let's make sure yep we're gonna go with the softs and I think we should be good. Let's send these guys out. Uh, we're going to put you on attack and overtake. Falco here. I really think his setup is going to be pretty solid. Attack and overtake there for his strategy. And let's see where we can finish. Arbeloa here has the best practice time so far at a minute 28 seconds. Just slightly over a minute 28 seconds. Falco and Faith are going to be doing their laps here. So Faith um, is going to be done first. Let's see where Faith finishes in terms of practice time. They have uh, just under four minutes to do at least one or two laps. Handling is feeling superb here. Beautiful. I'm glad Faith likes it. I'm watching Falco. Okay. Wow. Faith actually had the first fastest uh, practice time. That is interesting. Very, very interesting. How about Falco? What's Falco going to have? Falco is now first, and he knocked Faith down to second. Perfect gear ratios from Falco. That's what he's claiming. Beautiful. So let's see. Falco's at 126. Faith is a minute, uh, 1.1 behind him. All right. Let's see. 126. Can Falco improve on that? Falco, I think he's having an actual better lap this time than he did the last time. First, 126.5. He might have actually improved on that. No, he, he. I think he went down a little bit by like... 
0 0.4. Um, first and second place, not bad. So we actually had the top two drivers in this um, in this practice session. That's that's nice. That is very nice to see. Arbaloa was a full two seconds behind Falco with his practice time. So, uh, you know, that's going to make this race very, very interesting. I have high hopes for this race. I had high hopes for last race, and you know what, honestly, um, they really didn't disappoint too much, although I wonder if the drivers were all running on inters the last few laps, which if they were, that's going to make the results kind of um, misleading, but we'll see. Guilford, Sunday, race, sunny, beautiful. All right, Faith, we're going to go with the soft tires and the race trim. And for Falco here, we're going to go with the race trim and let's do, should we do risk taker or should we do soft tires? Performance increase. Performance increase here. Let's go ahead and see what the weather's actually going to be like. 62, doesn't look like any rain here soon. We're going to go with race trim and I think we're going to go with the soft tires. The performance increase for the soft tires. Uh, car setup, let's check to see how we're looking. 98. 98 uh, doesn't really matter which one we use because they're both at 98 clearly tire choice let's go with the softs um, let's see it's 23 lap race these should make it 11 to 13 um, I'm thinking maybe we want to let's start off on the super softs and then we will only go with maybe let's go with eight laps worth of fuel 8 16 24 um, you know what, let's do 9 laps. That'll just make the cars a little bit lighter. Actually, no, you know what, we're going to do 8 for uh, for Faith here. And then for Falco, I think we're going to do 9. Let's change his setup, he's at 98%. Beautiful, we're going to stick with that. Tire choice, we're also going to have you run on the Super Softs. And with you, we're going to do 8 laps. Then we'll bring you in. Um, is that the smart move to make? Just, let's see, if we do... We can only have 10 laps worth of fuel on each given thing. So if we do 8 now and then 10 and 10, I think we should be fine. So yeah, we'll do 8 laps of fuel. Get them a little bit of an advantage with their attack and overtake driving style. Uh, yeah, okay. Attack, attack, overtake, overtake. Beautiful. Let's start this race. Faith Anthony is starting off second. And of course, in his usual spot, he's going to be 14th because he's, I think, the 7th ranked driver so far. Now we're definitely going to have to watch the uh, the tire temperature more closely just because the super softs, um, they definitely go up a lot faster than the other tires uh, in terms of temperature. So Faith is still in second, Falco's in 17th, dropping down to 18th. Um, let's see, he's got, they both, oh, I think we did 8 for both of them with the, with the fuel, so that's, that's not good. Falco's in 19th now, let's go ahead and speed up a little bit. Why is Falco starting off so poorly? That's not good. Faith is still in second, but she's uh, about to get overtaken. Not yet. She's third now. Fourth. She's dropping down. Falco is in 18th. I need Falco to pick it up. Come on, buddy. I need you to do something. 17th. Beautiful. Faith is back in seventh, uh, second. Uh, we're going to lower... Uh, let's see here. Medium, and we'll do high. And then with Falco, I think we're going to go down to medium and medium. That way Falco can maybe do one more lap than, uh, than Faith. Faith is in fourth. Falco's in 16th, 17th. Kind of battling it out there. Um, still got Oh, wow, he's dropping. Falco, come on, dude. I need you to pick it up. I mean, he's right there with the pack, but uh, I don't like the fact that he's so far back. 71% on the tires for Faith, 75 for Falco, 19th spot, and Faith dropped down like crazy, she's in 13th now, Jesus, you were in 4th just a little bit ago. Alright, you know what, we're going to push you again, we're going to put you on overtake, hopefully you can kind of uh, jump up there a little bit closer to the, you know, the front runners. Falco's now dead last, 19th now, man, Falco's disappointing me so far, I don't like this, I don't like it at all, maybe Falco's just not a good driver with the super softs. That might be it. I'm not quite sure. Um, their tire temperatures are both looking solid. <sighs> they both have right around three laps worth of fuel left. Uh, Faith is obviously burning through it a little bit faster since she's on the overtake strategy and uh, Falco's on the medium, uh, the yellow one, you know. Faith is in 10th, Falco's in 15th, so they're doing a little bit of catch up here. 
which is nice to see. And we're going to have to pit Faith here in probably the next lap. Uh, not this one. Probably after she starts off this very next one, we'll have her pit. She is still in 10th. And she's got 1.6 laps worth of fuel left. Yes, let's go ahead and schedule Faith to pit. And let's double check the weather here. Um, still no rain in the forecast. Uh, we'll schedule Faith to pit. We'll put her on the softs. Um, fuel option will give her the maximum. And park condition is looking decent. There's a couple parts that might uh, worry us later on. Uh, and that should be good for Faith there. Let's fo uh, follow Falco. 15th position. Pretty close to the you know four or five drivers in front of him. Hopefully he'll be able to do a little bit of catching up here. Nice, 14th now. Beautiful little overtake there of Rogers. Needs you to do the same thing here to Gerard and uh, Faith, which Faith is pitting right now. She's going to be in there for a little bit of time. Falco jumped up to 12th, and she had a pretty solid pit stop. She's in 20th, however. Um, we're going to keep her on medium, medium there. Actually, yeah, you know, let's keep her on medium, medium. We're not going to go too aggressive. Uh, Falco, you are going to be pitting here very soon. So let's actually put you on attack and overtake. Schedule you for a pit. I think we're going to put you on the medium tires. And then we're also going to give you the maximum amount of fuel that we could possibly give. You know, let's do nine laps. Uh, there's only 16 laps remaining. We'll give you, we'll give you nine laps, 9.4. Park condition is looking okay. Strategy, we're going to stick with the balanced. And let's go ahead and do that. So Falco's going to be pitting here in a little bit. He's only got one lap of fuel left. Uh, and he's got about half a lap left to go until the pit lane. Here we go. Falco pitting in 11th. Faith is in 20th uh, still. Falco dropped down all the way to 18th. 19th now. 17th. Wow, okay, because the people pit apparently. So uh, Falco's in 17th. Faith is in 18th, so they're kind of back to back here. Uh, let's go ahead and lower Falco's driving style. We'll keep him on push, but we'll lower it to a high. Let's see where that takes us. All right, 17. Oh yeah, and all the like the top, oh what, 12? Top 12, 13 drivers all have to pit, which they're actually doing right now. So Falco should have a perfect opportunity to surpass them. He went from 17th to 15th, which uh, could have been better, in my opinion. But uh, let's see, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11, all going to have to pit again. Uh, top 5 drivers, actually, top, yeah, like the top 11 drivers are all going to have to pit again. So I'm not too concerned with the positioning right now. Englehart, I think, is going to be fine. 15th, and he just jumped up to 12th, thanks to the three vehicles pitting. Tire temperature, we can uh, lower it a little bit for Falco here. We'll go to neutral, and then for Faith, we're actually going to have to increase it up to push. Faith has 6.6 .6 laps left, and Falco has 6.9. Uh, Cavalcanti, he's in fourth. He's uh, he just actually pit. Okay, so nice. So Falco uh, from 12th through 11th. I'd really like to get that sponsor's objective of sixth. We are probably nine seconds behind sixth place, which I don't see why we couldn't catch up. Uh, I mean, Falco did have the best practice time of any driver by two seconds. So uh, six seconds shouldn't take him too long to uh, to catch up, especially now that he's kind of alone. He doesn't have to worry about um, you know messing with other drivers. Tire temperature looks decent on both of our drivers. Five laps remaining for both, so we're gonna have to kind of worry about when we're gonna pit these guys. Faith, I think I'm gonna want to have her pit sooner. Although there are ten or eleven laps remaining now, um, can hold. I want to say. I don't remember how many how many laps of fuel we can hold. Probably 10. So we're going to want to have them pit here in the next, like, two laps. Falco is in 12th. Faith is in 19th, which is a little disappointing there for Faith. Let's actually bump up her strategy. We'll go to overtake. And that will allow us to pit her a little bit sooner. Falco is still in 12th. He just got passed up for 14th. Kind of doing a little bit of battle there. Okay, we're on lap 14 of 23. They're both in a sticky situation in terms of their... Um, you know what? We're going to lower Falco here. We're going to go to medium engine mode. And we're going to have Faith pit um, a little bit sooner. Uh, we can actually schedule a pit stop for her now, I'm thinking. The weather forecast looks more of the same. I think we're going to stick with the soft tires. 
fuel options. There's eight laps remaining. We'll go ahead and give her the 9.6, which is the max that we could do. Park condition is looking okay. Pit strategy still balanced. Good, so we'll do that there. Once she gets out of pit lane, we can go ahead and schedule Falco's pit stop. Which, if she gets out now, before... Yep, yep. Okay, so we can actually schedule Falco's now. Let's go ahead and have him pit. Double check the weather. We're looking good. Um, there are... How many laps remaining? Eight laps remaining. Will we be able to do... We could do the super softs. Oh, man. Okay, let's take a risk. We're going to go with the super softs. Fuel options. We're going to max it out. Uh, we'll go with 9.27. Park condition looking okay. I don't think we're gonna have any problems there. Balance. So we're gonna take a little bit of a chance with Falco racing on the super softs, just because they do typically wear out faster than everything else. Um, but um, that speed boost, he does have a speed boost with the soft tires, right? So hopefully that will allow him to catch up uh, sixth place, which I think the top six drivers, top nine really, maybe top ten, they're all gonna have to pit. Um, they're all gonna have to pit again. Uh, Faith here, we're going to change you. She's got excess fuel. You know what, I think we're just going to take it conservative and we're going to go on neutral and medium for both drivers here. We want to follow Falco though, because he has the best chance of catching up to 6th. Uh, even though he is a solid like 25-30 seconds behind. But again, like I said, they're going to have to pit. So he's definitely going to have a chance to catch up to those guys. Come on Falco, 6 laps remaining. You know, Falco, I'm thinking we could push him a little bit more. We'll go on high for the engine mode there. 12th place. 13th place driver's looking to catch him up, though. Uh, pass him up. Falco's in 11th now. That's excellent. Um, looks like everybody's pitted. Nobody else is going to have to go to the pit unless they had some sort of a fuel mistake or a part wear down or something like that. So from here on out, it's pretty much just going to go down to uh, racing skill, I guess, which Falco's... 20 seconds behind 6th place, so it does not look like we're going to be able to catch up and get that sponsor's objective, which is unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. He just had such a bad start to the race. Um, he really didn't get out of like the, the bottom 2 or 3 until like laps 5 or 6, which absolutely killed him. Very unfortunate. Let's go ahead and up him on the tire. Uh, tire and high there. No, let's go all the way. We'll go with a push. We'll go attack and overtake. Why not? And I think we'll bump her up as well. Alright. Come on, Falco. Doing a little bit of catch-up on 6th place. I don't think he'll actually be able to. But we'll see. Who knows? Tires are definitely heating up. Fuel is uh, still fine. Still shows excess fuel. I think it will probably lower the, the tire, uh, the driving style. We'll go to push. We don't want his tires to wear out before the end of the race. 11th. Come on, catch up. We need you to get the driver standings, man. We needed you to improve. I want you at least at least in 7th. Come on, dude. 11th. About to pass up 10th, hopefully. Faith Anthony is still 17th. Still showing excess fuel, which is good. Really, we're just concerned about Falco here, though. Tenth place, beautiful. Couple extra points in the driver standings there. Let's go ahead and push. Come on, Falco. I need you to catch up to ninth. You're only two seconds behind. And this is the last lap, too. Right, you know what? We're going to just go ahead and put you on attack and overtake there. Faith, you're looking fine. Oh, Faith actually finished. So really, it's just a uh, battle for ninth. If Falco can get ninth, that would be excellent. Come on, buddy. Nope, he's not going to be able to. All right, tenth place for Falco. Disappointing, especially after his practice session. Oh well. Uh, I wonder what the mistake. Uh, you know, I don't think there really was a mistake with Falco. I think it was just the fact that he took so freaking long to. Um, at the beginning of the race, he was just stuck behind all those cars. He was battling, you know, nineteenth and twentieth there for like I said like four or five laps that's very frustrating um he just really couldn't do any kind of overtaking I guess nothing to scrutinize here no illegal parts as usual um again nobody actually well Sarah did get caught with an illegal part which is nice because then that allowed Faith to finish 16th 
Um, so she got an extra point. Falco here got 11 points. Uh, not sure if that's really going to help him too much with the uh, the driver standings. He's still in 7th. Um, he's a lot closer to falling down 8th, actually, than he is moving up to 6th. Although, you know, 11 points, that's still doable. Uh, Jean-Pierre Girard with Firebird, 11 points ahead of Falco. And then Austin Zarate with Krugers, 12 points. So, you know what? Not bad. Not bad. Uh, we did drop down. Well, actually, we're tied now uh, with Dragon Race Team for 8th place. Um, if Faith had just finished maybe a little bit better, you know, we would have we would have been able to uh, pass up Dragon Team Racing. But, oh well. Nothing we can do about that now. We're just going to go ahead and focus on improving the uh, performance of our parts, which hopefully that will allow us to kind of jump up one or two, uh, two teams in the team standings. I'm glad we got that test track done too. Uh, we do need to design a couple engines though before the end of the year. Especially now that that uh, that vote went bye bye, and we're not we're not going to be using the uh, the stock engines. Um, we lost 1.3 million this race. Okay, so our sponsorships went down. As a matter of fact, not we really don't have too much money to be losing. We have uh, 5.1 million left, and I think we have three races to go. Um, let's see, five. Yeah, we have three races to go after this episode. We could design a new part. Mm, let's go ahead and simulate a little bit. Uh, we'll do this interview here. What are they going to ask? Faith Anthony has claimed that your brakes... Man, you know what? She needs to button it. I'm so sick and tired of Faith. Faith, you are going to get fired here very, 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 very soon. Ah, oh, man. All right. Let's check this out. Car. Improved parts. Um, reliability is looking decent, as usual. Uh, again, we're going to definitely want to improve on this, though. All those parts are going to be done three days before the race, which is in 24 days, which is excellent. That's what we want to see there. Um, but, but, I'm thinking we should probably design another engine. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just do it. Engine, we're going to go over here, top speed. Then over here, we can only do one. Do we want to do uh, top speed plus 35, red zone minus 10, or do we want to do, you know what, no, this one's definitely better, because this one's going to make us go up to um, 151 and 185, that will be our best engine, obviously, but then that's going to actually lower the red zone, which is going to be excellent, that's, that's solid, uh, that's definitely going to be an engine that we'll be able to use next season, risk level low of being caught. Uh, we might actually use this engine this year. We'll see. But you know what? Let's go ahead and build it. 1.6 million bucks to build that. That's going to be done in 14 days. We probably won't be using that here in the upcoming race. Let's see what we have here in terms of sponsors. Only one sponsor uh, offer available right now with Wonderluck. Looks like a casino. One star. I don't think we're going to be accepting that one. Uh, let's go ahead and fast forward a little bit more. And we'll see what kind of um, sponsorship opportunities present themselves uh, over the next few weeks that is gonna be it for this episode guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already hopefully i'll see you guys on another video prison architect sim airport all series that are going on right now as well as well as rim world um yeah be sure to check out those videos they're all great and i'll see you guys on another video until then i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you later bye